It's funny. I actually played Peter Pan on Broadway. Did you know there's a Broadway street in Tampa? Now, this is important. This needs to be threaded all the way up in order to lock. Otherwise, you could fall. In bed. Pay attention. Also, you can't have anything in your pockets. Oh, my phone. Will you hold that? Thanks. Ready. <gasps> I'm flying! Oh, my God. Why are there so many dead doves up here? Jenna's phone. Hey, Jenna. It's Dennis Duffy. Yes, hello, this is Jenna. I bet you never thought you'd be hearing from me again now, huh? Yes, really. Why so ever would you be phoning me? With the help of WebMD, I was recently self-diagnosed as a sex addict. So a former sex partner, I'm sorry that my disease made you a victim of my sexual charisma. I'm sorry that I ruined you for other men. Look, I, I would have come down there and done this in person. But it's complicated because of the whole Liz thing, you know? Naturally, Liz, always. If she found out about this, she couldn't handle it. And it would ruin your friendship. You know, I was the love of Liz's life. I'm not sure you were, but apology accepted. Oh, no. I totally was. Peace. Forget it, Tracy. Tracy, listen. You cannot go into space. Your contract expressly prohibits dangerous activities, like extreme sports or riding the subway on St. Patrick's Day. What is this, Horseville? Because I am surrounded by naysayers. Wordplay. That is solid. Look, when I was a kid growing up in the projects, I would look up at the stars and dream of going into space, of escaping the slums, of killing the Ewok. Now the man that that kid has become can make those dreams come true. Do you know what that's like? I do, Tracy. Then you know why I have to do this. As Robert Browning once wrote, oh, but a man's reach should exceed his grasp. Oh, what is a heaven for? I was prepared for the possibility of this meeting. Tracy, I'll call up my friends at NASA, and I'll set up a flight for you. Thank you, Jackie D. Jack, what the hell? I'm not taking his childhood dream away from him. Not on my birthday. So you're just going to let him do this? Of course not. I don't have friends at NASA. Bunch of nerds. You're going to have to use your TV magic and fake a space launch for Tracy. Ah, oh, I was going to go for a run today. Oh. <laughs> You missed a call. Was it my doctor slash trainer? No, it was Dennis. Dennis Duffy. Calling me? Why? Well, Jenna, Dennis has been going around calling all the women he's ever had sex with. Did you speak to him? Yes. Did you pretend to be me? I did. Did you do an impression of, of me? Of course. Was it British? It was. Oh, my God. Liz, first of all, the reason I have some English inflection in my speech is because I lost my virginity to the My Fair Lady soundtrack. Jenna. Second, you guys have broken up, and Dennis and I were in a very emotional place because of Hurricane Katrina. Jenna, stop. Yes, what you did was disgusting. But how long have we known each other? Fifteen years. We met at that car dealership audition in Chicago. You were trying to be an actress then, despite your neck. Right, yes. Well, we have both seen this happen too many times. A strong female friendship torn apart by some guy. But that's not what's going to happen this time. Dennis Duffy said he didn't want this to hurt our friendship. As if someone like him ever could. Oh, thank you, Liz. <sighs> I mean, the idea that that guy is walking around thinking he means anything to me, to either of us, it's ridiculous. It's unacceptable. We shouldn't let him get away with it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Let's, Let's stab him. Let's a piece of our mind. Yeah. Your thing. <laughs>